Is Millie's heart rate going to be faster or slower than a chihuahua? A lot of kids who love animals dream of becoming a veterinarian or farmer. Here in Vermont, many spend time working on farms in their teenage years to learn as much as they can. Well, I'm working on a farm right now, and so I've just kind of grown interested in it. And I'm working with the herdsman, and so she does a lot on like the vaccines and animal care. So I kind of wanted to learn more so I could be a little more involved. So we have some different kinds of digestion here, okay? Um, I want to be a vet. So, and we do, we have a farm, so we do a lot of our own vet work, but there's a lot of stuff she can't teach me. So she found this class and she thought it was a good idea, and so did I. The class is an introduction to vet science. It's organized by the University of Vermont Extension's 4-H program. We've generally done a three-week program, and we've covered topics starting with anatomy and physiology, and then some basic health check kinds of things that one would do. We gather different species, that's usually the on the farm day. And then the third session is generally around um, some practical tests or procedures that one might run. So the kids have learned to suture um, sometimes a piece of fruit, sometimes a piece of chicken from the grocery store. The students learn about other common veterinary procedures as well including how to vaccinate using different props and checking fecal samples for the presence of parasites. In other words, they get an inside look at vet science. Sometimes even more inside than they bargained for. The least squeamish of the bunch got the chance to put on a shoulder-length rubber glove and check out a fistula on a cow, a surgically maintained hole that provides a look into the cow's stomach, or rumen. Uh, we got to play with the fistulated cow, and so you get to stick your hand inside the stomach, and I was absolutely amused by that. There were some surprises. I was really surprised to see how small the rumen was. I thought it would be a lot bigger. But most took it in stride. It wasn't too gross to stick your hand in? Absolutely not. I made some funny faces, but it was all worth it. <laughs> Along with giving the students practical, hands-on experience, the class is also an opportunity for their teachers to get some practice sharing their knowledge. That's useful because the teachers are students too, from UVM's Vet Science Club, and they're volunteering their time to lead the class. You know, if I were 15, I would be in this program for sure. Um, so I guess Rebecca McBride started volunteering for a vet when she was in high school. She went on to participate in the cream program at UVM and is planning to go to veterinary school. She helped develop the partnership with 4-H, expanding their existing vet science program. You know, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't freak at a 103. <laughs> I wouldn't freak at a 103 for temperature. We adapted what we did in other classes, so anatomy and physiology. We do dissections of the heart, of the eyes, of the, and we compare skeletal anatomy. In ASI 001, we did, we put our hands into a fistulated cow. Um, so we adapted kind of what we do in our classes and in pre-vet club and thought what would be most interesting and most fun for the kids and what they would retain the most. The lessons seem to have hit home. First uh, week, we got to like dissect eyeballs and hearts and udders and stuff like that. So I thought it was really cool to see the inside of an udder um, and then also skeletal systems and how they vary. Um, and then we got to talk about vitals today, and I thought that was really fun. We've learned a lot about um, vitals, checking a cow, doing physical exams, checking to make sure on the outside before the inside, because it could be just the simplest thing instead of a really difficult thing. Giraffes are rooming. What's that in the, in the corner there? The key component really is just the enthusiasm of, on the part of the pre-vet students. They, they love what they're involved in and they have expressed that they really enjoy teaching these younger kids, sharing what they know with them and hopefully, you know, some of these kids will then move on and, and pursue a career in the sciences or in, in veterinary medicine. And the rumen is what you guys just had your hands in. This is where all the fermentation and microbes take place. And the participants here are a mix of 4-H and community members. Garitano says that as a youth development program, it's important for 4-H to reach beyond the traditional participants for a program like this one. 
We have a lot of kids that are involved in the 4-H club program, which is an excellent program for building life skills, but we don't want to leave out all the other kids out there. Um, so we, we include them in the opportunities to, to learn new skills, and again, in informal settings where, where a lot of kids really thrive. I like the hard work aspect of it. No two days are exactly alike. Courtney Bannock expects that when the class is done, she'll be able to do more around the farm. I'm hoping to be able to keep the job I have now through the future because I love who I'm working with and where I'm working, so I want to continue with the farming aspect. Preparing kids for the futures they dream of by giving them real experience. 4-H right. continues its owl. tradition and of educating kind of Vermonters. Right if you're an owl in the winter, freezing, not a lot of food, do you want to waste extra energy? In Burlington, I'm Rebecca Gollin with Across the Fence.